dear students my name is vikram nalavde and i'm from mechanical engineering department working at sharad institute of technology college of engineering yatrao itselkanj today we'll discuss about unit number 4 that is joining processes it is a part of the subject manufacturing processes 1 in this presentation we will cover the introduction of welding process oxy fuel gas welding arc welding processes for consumable and non consumable electrodes solid state welding brazing and soldering and mechanical fastening in entire explanation we will cover all aspects applications and design consideration of each type of welding welding processes so let us start from the introduction what is welding in a metal joining process the two parts that are to be welded or joined these are fused or melted together by the application of heat and with or without pressure application permanent fusion happens between joining metals now let's start with first type of welding that is oxy fuel gas welding now what exactly is this type of welding process in oxy fuel gas welding we will discuss oxy acetylene gas welding in which the source of combustion is oxygen gas that is to produce flame that is the source of heat and it is required to melt metals at the weld joints acetylene gas acetylene gas in oxy acetylene gas welding this is used for structural sheet metal fabrication automotive bodies and various other repair works generally while having reaction between acetylene and uh, oxygen gas in entire process there are two types of combustion takes place one is primary combustion and second is secondary combustion in primary combustion acetylene gas is reacted with oxygen and it decomposes into carbon monoxide and hydrogen gas and along with that heat is also produced this heat is one third of the total heat developed during the welding process after that secondary combustion takes place in which the product of primary combustion like carbon monoxide and hydrogen gases these are reacted in the presence of oxygen and it gives carbon dioxide water vapors and it also develops heat now this heat developed is two third of total heat developed during the process which is sufficient to melt the weld zone this diagram which represents the oxy fuel gas welding in which base metal which is to be welded is shown above one tip of the welding torch is represented through which mixture of acetylene gas and oxygen is passed through the nozzle tip of the welding which produces flame at very high temperature and along with that filler rod is applied additionally we will discuss about filler rod in next slide uh, the direction of the travel is represented in this diagram so oxy acetylene gas welding is sufficient to produce the heat to melt the weld zone now in the in uh, this type of uh, in this slide we will discuss that important terms used in the oxy acetylene gas welding above this picture shows the actual application of use of the oxy acetylene gas on the rail track and the bottom picture it is representing the use of acetylene and oxygen gas by using individual cylinders the pressure is controlled by the pressure regulators used in acetylene and oxygen 
gas cylinders. These gases are passed through the hoses to the torch and from the nozzle tip these gases are supplied at very high temperature on the zone of welding equipment where filler rod is used. Now here the important terms filler rod, flux, slag these are used. Now what is filler material? Filler material it is the uh, additional metal to weld zone during welding. It is available as filler rods or wires and may be bare or coated with flux. Now what is flux here? Flux is used to retard oxidation of surfaces being welded by generating gases shields around weld zone. Also it resolve and remove oxides and other substances from weld zone development of stronger weld. And slag is it is the compound of oxides, fluxes and electrode coating materials protects the molten puddle of the metal against oxidation as it cools. Now in the previous uh, slide I will show where the flame is coming out of the tip of the welding torch when filler rod is used as an additional material near the welding zone what happens when burning or combustion takes place huge gases are developed so in this case the mixture of fluxes and slag also plays very important role it protect the weld zone from the environmental factors to avoid the oxidation the oxidation may be in terms of the brittleness and various defects causing the mechanical properties of the base metal so the flux and slags are very important to avoid the oxidation of the weld metal now in this slide we will discuss the types of flames here three types of flames in oxyacetylene gas are shown first is neutral flame second is oxidizing flame third is carburizing or reducing flame in first neutral type of flame generally the proportion of acetylene and oxygen is in gas mixture is an important factor in oxyfuel gas welding so in case of neutral flame the ratio of both the gases are one by one means both are same in quantity so in neutral flame inner cone has maximum temperature that is in the range of 3040 degrees celsius to 3300 degree celsius outer cone outer envelope has a temperature it is very less as compared to inner cone that is 1260 degree celsius and in between phase is having temperature of 2100 degree celsius second type of flame is oxidizing flame as the name is oxidizing it means the content of oxygen is much more than acetylene gas here two cones are two phases are represented inner cone that is in pointed manner and outer envelope that is small and narrow so in this amount of oxygen is greater it can be harmful especially for steels so the use of oxidizing flame in the case of steels these are limited because it oxidizes the metal but oxidizing flame is specially suitable for copper and copper based alloys it is desirable because it forms a thin protective layer of slag now slag we all know that it's a compound of oxides and it is covered over the molten metal third type of flame that is carburizing or it is also called reducing flame it has three phases first is inner cone that is bright luminous in intermediate phase that is acetylene feather and last phase is blue envelope now oxygen is insufficient for full combustion generally temperature of reducing gas reducing flame is lower and this is suitable for low heat 
such as brazing, soldering, and flame hardening operations. So these are the three types of uh, oxyacetylene uh, frames used in different uh, applications depending upon the temperatures and various requirements. Now, as initially we have discussed that uh, welding is a process of joining uh, metals by use of uh, fusion with or without pressure. So this is the pressure gas welding. Uh, in which uh, two diagrams are represented first type of diagram in which two different interfaces of metals are heated by flame which is produced by combustion of acetylene gas and oxygen mixture and in second type of diagram the source of flame is withdrawn which is removed and the heated interfaces are joined and these are pressurized to be welded and the forces which are applied are called upsetting forces. Generally two components to be welded are heated at the interface by means of torch using oxyacetylene mixture after the interface begins to melt. A torch is withdrawn. An axial force is then applied to press two components together and is maintained until interface solidifies. The formation of flesh due to upsetting of joint ends of two components. So uh, we have discussed uh, about oxyacetylene uh, gas welding. In next uh, presentation we will discuss about arc welding processes for consumables and non-consumable electrodes. Thank you. Thank you so much.